Welcome back, everybody, to some more Subnautica. So we are in our Cyclops once again, just kind of exploring, see what we can, what we can find. And I'm hearing some weird-ass noises down here. We're only 98 meters deep right now, but uh, I do want to start heading deeper. I know, the thanks to the comments, that the uh, Sea Moth can go way deeper than the Cyclops actually can. So I might get out, out and go into the Sea Moth soon and see where we can go with that. But as for right now, I'm just kind of exploring, seeing what this game has to offer. I did do haul damage. Great. Good start, me. Okay, let's, let, let's try and repair this if we can. Okay, back to normal, I guess. I don't... I don't even know what I'm hitting, that's the problem. Am I hitting, like, fish or something? Am, am, am I that close to the ground? I don't even know. Whoa, look at these things. We got we got some mushroom plants over here. Uh, looks like it's going to start going up again. I don't want to go up. I want to go into the deep sea here and see these weird creatures. Uh, this is getting really interesting, though. I, I don't know, I just love the, the feeling of exploration in this game. You never really know what's going to be around that corner. All right, it looks like a kind of, oh, I'm actually hitting these plants, aren't I? Okay, let's go up a little bit. It's really hard to pilot this thing. You don't really realize how big the damn thing is until you're trying to maneuver around in kind of tight spaces like this. Emergency. See, god damn it, I freaking did it again. I'm hitting these damn mushrooms and they're doing damage to my hull, but I do want to go down here. I just got to be very careful. I'm going to have to repair once again. This is my third time repairing. Ooh, what are you? Oh my god, you are beautiful. Uh, anyways, I gotta go repair that before it makes everyone crazy, including myself. Actually, this looks like some sort of possibly cave entrance? I don't know, though. We're 186 meters deep right now. Quite deep. Uh, I'm gonna just wander around here a little bit, see what I can find, and then I might head out on the sea moth and see what some of these little crevices have. Appro approach crush depth of 200 meters. Hull damage... Oh, wow, I actually can't go below 200 meters with this thing or it starts crushing it. Okay, so we are at the limitation of the Cyclops, of course. So let's head into the Sea Moth. This thing can go deeper and uh, it's much easier to, to maneuver, so I'm excited about that as well. Ah, the old SS Brucey. Uh, <laughs> you don't really get to grasp the size when you're sitting in this little dome in the front. But that's why I was hitting so much stuff. My back end is just so damn long. Anyways, we're gonna head down deeper here, see what we can find. Uh, it looks like this is some sort of little cave system with, uh, hopefully some new mobs? I, I don't know, though. Oh, man, this is... This is really hard to maneuver. Oh, you can see I'm hitting stuff. This thing is... Definitely taking some damage. We're at 69% health, but uh, hey, it's all good. I can't seem to find a huge cave system, though, so I might keep moving here until I can find something a little better. Oh, there's actually uh, a magma vent. Is, is this magma? I don't even know. what the, I guess this will be the same, right? It, it's, it's different rock, though, but there's some sort of uh, vent there that's blowing air up. That's always cool to see. Uh-oh. Oh, I just saw a shadow that I don't like seeing. Oh, it's the uh, sharks. They're not too bad, I guess. I can probably get away from it, but uh, nice to see that. I, I didn't know they were this deep. I thought they were kind of uh, a little more shallow, but yep, you can see that the sharks are here and, in fact, roaming around. How did I... How did I get a hole breach? I wasn't even here. All right. May, may, oh, my God. It's actually really freaking low. I don't know what happened to my hole, but uh, we're back to... Oh, it's breaking again. Okay. Hull welded, four breach, and two minor remain. Oh, wow. There was actually a lot of damage here. I I, th I think it's because we're pro probably too low. I got to go up quickly. Um, yeah, we were at 208 meters. No, no wonder why. There we go. Now, that should not be breaking the hull anymore. I don't even know what I'm hitting here, but I'm going sideways. Uh, you really got to watch that depth then, because I almost lost my freaking Cyclops here. Okay, we're just going to repair all of these. That was a little worrisome. I guess it slowly sinks when you're not there. Because I, 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 when we left, it was at like 197. When I came back, it was at 208. Oh, man. This gets really freaking deep over here. I can hardly even see the, what's going on on the ground here. But uh, we're at 198 meters, as you can clearly see. And down there, it looks like there's... Some more of those mushroom things, but it's getting deeper and deeper, so I might need to get out of my sea moth just to see what's going on here. Oh, actually, we are hitting 
A really high reef. Okay, so we just hit. We did. Wow! Look at the size of these things. That is amazing. I don't, I don't even know what this. I guess, I guess it's a mushroom. I don't know though. Or I, I guess it would be some sort of coral. I mean, we are underwater. It does look like a mushroom though. Okay. Wow. We are. At the seabed here, at 293 meters deep. Uh, I don't know if we're going to find really anything around here, because we are pretty much at the deep sea territory. But uh, I'm curious to see if there's any hidden creatures around here, so I am going to wander for a little bit. Oh, man. Uh, we're seeing another big drop-off here. I think this is where the map pretty much ends, and you don't really want to go down there, I don't think. But I'm going to check it out and see if there's any... Oh, this is really creepy. Like, I'm going straight down right now on essentially a wall. I'm going to stick to this wall, though, so I don't get lost. And uh, see how deep we can go. I'm hearing something which is really concerning me. Um, I... Th Alright, I guess I'm going to keep going. I, I, I just heard some really weird noises randomly. Uh, you can probably hear them as well. It's like explosions almost, so I'm kind of worried about that. Okay, we are going to hit 2,000 here. This, I, I, I'm just curious to see if there's a bottom or what the hell happens when you go all the way down here now. I don't expect to see anything down here, but uh, I'm not going to stop now. I may as well just keep going. Okay, I think we officially kind of hit the bottom here. I'm not going to move around out here because I don't want to get lost, but we will look a little bit here just to see if there's anything here. And then we're going to go climbing up again. <laughs> I mean, we are just at a really rocky outface. And, oh, look, more. Okay, I'm, oh, this is definitely the edge of the map. <gasps> oh, oh, God, I'm scared. Okay, I'm, I'm definitely going to go back up now. I don't want to lose a lot of my stuff. And, yeah, we went 3,000 meters down, though. Didn't really see much. I got to go recharge, though, now. Well, that was a big waste of time. I did, in fact, get out of the dark abyss, though, that is, like, nothingness. Uh, I don't think I'm going to go down there again. I really don't think there's much of anything, but I did hear some weird noises, so that kind of scared me. I'm going to actually go up just to... Oh, shit, we're doing radiation again. Where do I got to go here? Because I just want to figure out where I need to go so I don't freaking die. But, uh, we're going up pretty quickly. This thing goes up really quickly. Holy crap. I just kind of want to get my grips at where I am in the world right now. Uh, all right, we're gonna have to turn around here because we got nothing over here, and this thing is really slow turning around. The ship should, assuming the radiation is following that ship, be right over here. Yep, there it is. Oh, we are right beside it. So we are actually on the other side of the ship. Wow, we're right beside it. It's a good thing I didn't hit it going up. Jesus. It's weird. The further away I get from the ship, the more radiation I'm getting. Maybe it's from the edge of... I don't even know. But I gotta get out of here, because I'm gonna freaking die if I don't. Uh, and this thing's gonna be forever lost in radiation. I don't know even how to get back to my own place! It's over there! I need to go this way! Okay, we are out of it. Good. Whew. That was close. So look how far away we are now. We were right beside it before. How does that even work? Okay, I'm going to start going down again. We are at a different zone here. Let's see how deep this is. Uh, it's probably... Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. What the fuck? I didn't realize we'd be going to only 70 meters and then experiencing something. This is, this looks relatively new, though. Look at this thing. It's like it's like older, almost dead zones. Wow, there's a lot of mushrooms here, too. I'm going to actually get out here. Oh, passing safe depth. Let's actually get out here and see what we can find. The hell is that? Oh god, that scared me. Wow, that... It's just some really weird designs around here. Oh. What is down here? Uh, is this another black hole? Yeah, this is looking like... Oh. Oh, is this... I'm scared. Okay, nope, this is the ending. Oh god, oh god, it is. I think that's going to ignite. I'm not certain, though. Maybe it's a... What is glow... What's glowing down there, though? I'm way too curious right now. So yeah, this is hot magma. Uh, I don't know when it erupts or not, but uh, I'm going to get out of here before it does. There's some more of these creatures. These guys seem to like the, the deep depths. That's really all I've been seeing in terms of creatures. They're not that scary or anything. But uh, as you can see, there is 
tunnel systems down here as well. And if I can find a deep tunnel, that would be great. Oh god, why is there falling rock? What the fuck was that about? Oh god, there's more. There's falling rocks here. Are we having a meteor shower or something? Better watch out. I'm gonna hit you. Oh, sorry, dude. I didn't mean that. I didn't think it would actually damage him. That was hilarious. Ooh. That's a big ass fungi. Whatever it is. Um, I think we should really wander around here. This is really where the drop off is. And it seems like there's a lot going on. You can see the guys are down here. I've been kind of around here before, but not totally here. Whoa, 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 what the fuck? Oh, you motherfucker, you hit me. You scared the hell out of me. The hell, bro? Alright, I really want to go in here. But, as you can see, it is a tight fit. Oh, man, it's going nowhere either. I mean, I guess this is kind of inside something. Holy crap, though, this is so cool to man maneuver through. Yeah, that didn't lead anywhere. We just have a geyser over here. Uh, and unfortunately, there's nothing in this geyser, it looks like, either. Oh, God. Oh, God. Why do you keep doing this? Oh, God. Go up. Go up. Go up. Every time I leave and go explore, it, it decides to be a jerk and sinks. Like, what the fuck is that about? Okay, guys, I reset my game here, and my save game, as you can clearly see, is outdated. I opted into the experimental build for this game, which gives you access to things before they're supposed to be coming out, and I'm just curious to see what there is. So I am going to upgrade and load this game, but I might lose a bit of my content here, so I'm a little worried about that. You know, the Cyclops might be gone and stuff like that, and we might need to redo that over. But, uh, yeah, I think this is better, because then we can explore a little bit more, and... As it states, there is vastly upgraded land masses when you do do this. So, I'm curious to see it. Let's do it. Okay, well, that's an awesome sign. Uh, we, in fact, didn't lose our Cyclops, which is my, my biggest worry. Now we can actually go make radiation suits and go to the crash site. So, that's what I'm going gonna, gonna to start doing now. I do want to, you know, explore a bit more. And, oh, look at that. It's got its own unique... Uh, bleeper thing now too. I'm really glad I upgraded to this experimental build because seeing what this game has to offer in its full form is definitely what I want to do. And you can see I was really close to it, so I might not I might have not lost anything, and I hope I didn't. <gasps> I see him again. How's it going, buddy? I don't remember what these guys are actually called, but um they are freaking huge. They're pretty much the whales of this game. They don't really do much, but uh, they sound cool, and you can hear them from miles away, and they just kind of wander around. I mean, that's all they really do, and I kind of like them. They're, they're, they are my friends, and I guess I'll call them Billy in this game as well. I mean, it does kind of remind me of Billy. Oh, shit, there's another one! Holy shit, we have a flock of these huge bastards! That is so freaking cool to look at. Okay, we're getting pretty shallow here. I think I'm just going to park it here and drive over there. We're really close right now. Uh, once it starts going up a little bit more. You know what? Yeah, this is good right here. And I'll just drive my Seamoth over. That's really the best way to do it. Because last time I got stuck over there trying to move this thing through like two feet of water. Stupidest idea ever, by the way. Uh, we may as well just leave here and head home. And then build that radiation suit if we can. And uh, yeah, go see the radiation zone. Because I'm curious to see what's in there. Okay, assuming I didn't corrupt anything here, we should be able to go to... Oh yeah, you can see that this is a whole new list now. It's got a tool list with all the tools. Dive reel, flare, all this stuff is old. Stasis rifle, terraformer, yeah, all that stuff is old. Then we got uh, equipment as well. First aid kit, rebreather. I don't even think there was a first aid kit before. Radiation suit takes two lead, two silicone, and two titanium. That's not too bad, actually. We should be able to get that in this episode. Uh, of course, we got survival food as well. Um, and this is a much better, uh, layout because it's a is really confusing before having all this other stuff. Machines as well, you can get your sea glide, your constructors, um, your beacons, your current generator. I still don't know what that thing does. Small storage cube and grav sphere. And we got a little bit of a newer update to this as well. You got a warning thing here. Power cells 1 of 3 online, yada, yada, yada. I don't think this was green before, so it's really cool to see the small, subtle changes that they do to make the game a little bit more polished. Okay, lead is actually made by 3 copper ore and 1 silver ore. I think I have that 
in my other cargo bay. I should still have enough copper at least. I didn't use all of it. And I think I had one silver, so we might be lucky and be able to make this right away. There we go, we got three, yeah, we do have enough, good. Okay, we got three silver, uh, sorry, it was three copper and one silver, I believe. Where those my silver are, there we go. I can't believe I remembered that. I knew I had at least one silver in there. And of course we had the copper as well, so there we go, we got our lead. Wait, does it take two lead? Oh shit, that means I need to go find some silver if it does. Um, yeah, fuck, it takes two, uh, it takes two lead, two silicone, and two titanium. God damn it. Well, I guess we're gonna do a little bit of adventuring. Okay, we are pretty much done, I think, if I remember correctly. Uh, do I have enough? I, oh, what the hell do I need? Oh yeah, I still need to make one lead, God damn it! Okay, uh, I, I forgot I actually need to do that, I should be able to... Huh, what do I need? I still need copper or three, I should have enough in he Oh, thank God! Okay, I forgot I still needed copper ore, but I have just enough in my uh, bank to finish this. So if we go to here, here, lead, now we should officially be good to make that radiation suit. There we go. Radiation suit. Beautiful. Let's do it. Look at that. It's just flippers, isn't it? Okay, so I got my radiation helmet, radiation suit, radiation gloves. I guess I made all of that. I don't think there's radiation boots. We should be good now to not have any issues with radiation, which is absolutely awesome. Uh, I'm excited for that. We're gonna head over there now and see really what it has to offer. Actually, we are right beside it pretty much, aren't we? Holy crap, I gotta slow down. This is really hard to- I mean, it look- The textures are made to be look- seen from far away, that's the problem. So it's hard to tell. Now there's- If we go down here- You know what, let's just get out on our sea moth and explore it, why don't we? Oh, okay, we landed right on some rocks. Great start. Uh, but yeah! Here we are! Maybe we can get in here? I don't even know. So I'm seeing, like, rocks with pipes in them and everything. I mean, oh, god damn, I'm hitting everything here. It's really hard to ma maneuver around here. And I think you can kind of get inside of it here. I'm, oh, god. I'm hitting everything. Oh, can I not get in there? Oh, man. Okay, so this is kind of buggy because I'm trying to get in here. And it's not really working. You can see I'm like looking at one of the reactors here. But it gets so blue underwater, it's hard to tell where the hell you are. Alright, you know what? We're just going to go straight down and see what's on this ground over here. This is obviously a radiated zone. Something I've never been to. And it's actually really quite deep. Okay, it's extremely deep. I did not expect this. Oh, here we go. So... Upon inspection, was that a wall? I can't, I'm so confused. My brain just doesn't even acknowledge what the fuck is going on here. Okay guys, I'm gonna assume this is still in development. I'm not really supposed to be here per se, but I'm here anyways. Okay guys, I think that's enough exploration for me today. Uh, we did do quite a bit, but we unfortunately didn't find too much of anything crazy that we haven't found yet. But I got my rad suit, which I'm excited about. Whoa. Whoa, 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 okay. Okay. Well, I guess it had to change the animation around, and it kind of pushed me through the wall. Anyways, we did create a rad suit, which was a very important tool for the next expansion of this game, which is, of course, exploring the crash site. So that was my main goal. Uh, get to the crash site here and get ready for future expansions. We're right beside it right now, and I'm really excited for the future of this game. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Thank you so much for liking and commenting. I will see you in the next one. Hey, this is just a quick message thanking you for watching my video. I hope it gave you literally minutes of enjoyment. If you want to see more, I've added playlists and videos like this one at the top right of your screen. If you want to follow me on Twitter, Facebook, or directly support me, all my social media and Patreon links are in the description of this video. Thanks for watching and liking. I'll see you in the next one.